What's going on guys? It's Matthew here with Gadget University and finally, finally, after months and months of waiting, Verizon has finally released the Motorola Droid Bionic. We saw this back in CES in January and it was alongside of the Motorola Atrix as probably the best devices of the year. Very excited to finally get my hands on this. Uh, I've held it once before but it was of course a different model back in CES. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Now this packaging is very similar to the Droid Charge. Uh, they did the similar kind of Droid design where you have the little cutout for the Droid Eye which was very nice. Now the Droid Bionic is the first dual core LTE device to launch on Verizon. And I opened it up upside down. There we go. Alright let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Now it features a 14.3 inch display. QHD resolution, dual core TI OMAP4 processor clocked at 1 gigahertz per core. Inside you have a travel charger, a sync cable and a travel charger. You have all your product safety information, your getting started guide. You have a battery here. Looks like it has a I cannot see what, how big this battery is. 1735 milliamps. That's actually fairly large. So uh, should be getting some pretty good battery life. I'm very curious because I am a, a owner of a Joy Thunderbolt, a Joy Thunderbolt, an HTC Thunderbolt, and the battery life was not that great. And that was a single core device. So I'm very curious to see how a dual core device from Motorola can handle all of this power. This has probably been one of Verizon's mostly uh, hype phones since the original Droid. So let's go ahead and put the battery in. This battery is very wide, wider than most. Let's see here. Under the hood, you're going to have a slot for your. Let me zoom in, I'm sorry. It's all dark. Under the hood, you're going to have a slot for your SD card and then your micro USD, excuse me, your micro USD card slot, which is a 16 gig. You have 16 gigs built in. Also, there's your 4T, 4G LTE SIM card slot right here. Just slide it in that way. And it looks like they put a SanDisk brand. No, it's just a generic. Can't tell what class it is. Not by the least. But it should be pretty fast. Hopefully it's a class six, not sure so far. Okay. You guys give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the SIM card. I don't want anything to go wrong as far as after I boot it up. Give me one second. Okay, I'm going to get the SIM card in here. You're going to insert it this way. Nothing's easy for me in these unboxings. If you've seen any of my other videos, there's always something new that goes on. Okay, you're just basically going to slide it in right here. There we go. So, that is in. Now while I'm putting this battery in, I did take notice that there is a 8 megapixel camera. It does 1080p, has autofocus, dual LED flash, speaker grills along the back. The design of this phone is actually very neat. Um, it's really unique for them to kind of incorporate the Droid X design along with a kind of a evolved design. It's pretty neat. Alright, so along the right hand side you have your volume rocker, volume up, volume down. Across the top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and you have your power wake sleep button. This is a little awkward. It is on the top right. Um, with this phone being so large, it's kind of hard to hit. It's very easy to press though, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Along the left hand side, you have your micro USB card, excuse me, a micro USB slot, and your HDMI slot for your HDMI mir mirroring. So let's go ahead and pull off this top part and we're going to power the phone on too. 
This device really resembles the Droid 3 a lot in the design. It's pretty simple. Overall build quality is very good. You have a matte soft back feel on the back. Um, very resembling of the Droid 3 back and the other Droid products pretty much. Overall build quality is very solid. The chromal on the side is like I said like the Droid 3. Uh, I'm not too worried about it chipping or or showing any scratches. The Droid 3 was very good at not doing that. The buttons down here are very large. Uh, they seem larger than other. Let's see here. Here's the Nexus S and that's not on. We'll see in just a moment. There's the boot notification. It's going to ask me to do initial setup and it's going to try to activate and everything. But this has been my unboxing guys. Uh, I will get with you guys later on a review. I'll try to have it up in a few days. Very excited for this. Very excited to see how this works and uh, this should be one of those phones to look forward to. Uh, forgot to mention there's a front facing camera on the front. It is a VGA camera, not 2.0 or 1.3 like other phones. Also, it has a gig of RAM inside, so that will help a lot with the multitasking and this moto blur that seems to bog down phones with it. Um, here goes the buttons now, you can see. Ah, you can't see it. I need to turn the brightness. I'll show you guys that later in another video, probably the review. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And peace.